So now it's time to mark the waterline, which is uh, quite exciting. Luckily, um, this uh, is quite stained along here. So that's given me, I mean, I did mark it. I marked it um, from the gunnels down to uh, where the old one was as I went along, but it's pointless really, I didn't need to. Um, it's got a really good clear waterline stain there. So I'm just gonna sort of average, average it along, come down a sniffing, um, obviously where it's sort of maybe been splashing around and whatnot, and just sort of find a, find a smooth line. I can't really see a way of doing it apart from really by eye from one point, you know, and following it roughly along and then just uh, sort of making a nice sweep. Um, that's the game. That was a lot of fussing, but I really enjoyed doing that. There's a lot of, a lot of fiddling around and whatnot to get the lines um, you know, parallel with each other on both sides of the boat and looking really fair. Um, and I think I've got a good, you know, good shout at it. Who knows 100% where, where she's gonna see it in the water, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. It was good fun, it took a while, a lot of fettling, um, but I think the lines look absolutely lovely, really, really fair, really lovely. So, uh, um, varnish now. I'm using this schooner, um, International um, Yacht Varnish. Um, schooners, um, there's two different sorts. This schooner one has got UV protection, I can't remember what the other one was called. Um, but yeah, knocked it back um, 15, around 15%. It says knock it back 10%, but I'm gonna do a couple of thin coats. This suggests um, one thin coat at 10% and then full coats after that, but I will do two thinner coats. Um, one at 15 whatever I've mixed it down to and another one but yeah just a little bit thinned but um, yeah exciting times let's have a look So here she is after two coats of varnish and uh, I think she's looking fantastic. Um, it's lovely to have it on. There's got to be another six coats uh, more, but that'll be next year after the winter. It's just to protect her over the winter really and the summer to stop bleaching out anymore. Um, so yeah, I think she's nice and protected now. It's uh, pretty good. I, there's a few I'll show um, whether you can see them up, the, up here where they, um, uh, the plugs are from the rivets they're all a bit sort of darkened off I don't know I don't mind the look of that but I don't know if that's something that 
you know is anything so I'll look into that whether it's a problem or if there's anything but um, I think it's fine um, and she's gonna be what she is really I think she looks lovely looks old and uh, yeah yeah I'm happy I think it looks good. Um, one thing I will say is um, the boat's pretty level where she sits and um, standing back and you can put a level, sort of what I have put a level, just sort of stood back and held it in my hand. I don't know really how relevant that is, but it is, it looks level, it looks pretty level. Um, the water line does. So um, I'm gonna prime the uh, hull now and um, then she'll be sort of set. And once she's in the water, I can remark her when she comes out the, the following season. Um, you know, if I need to adjust the waterline, I can adjust it. I think I've done um, done the waterline lower, um, if anything, rather than higher. So it should be easy just to raise it a little bit if I need to. But yeah, I think she's looking fantastic. Really, really pleased. So, uh, um, prime the hull now. So I'm going to prime the uh, hull now and uh, I'm going to use aluminium wood primer. It's got a load of stickers on this, you can't really read it. I've got a good price man, £5.52 rather than £22.08. But um, it's just regular aluminium wood primer, solvent based. Um, I'm going to use turpentine to knock it back, white spirits I'm sure is fine as well. Just know this is from uh, gum from trees, so I don't know if that helps on the wood or not. I've no idea really, but I'm using it anyway. I'm going to add some teak oil to it, just because I've got some, uh, as well as some linseed oil, again, just because I've got some, just sort of this is basically what I've got rummaged around in the workshop and found. So just to give it some extra oil in, in it for the first coat particularly. So it'll be a really thin first coat with um, a lot of oil. It'll take ages to dry, but hopefully it'll really absorb into the wood and just give the wood some decent protection to start with. Well, I'll probably give it two coats of this, uh, this aluminium wood primer, and then um, I have some Hempel underwater um, primer, which I'll, you know, do a proper full coat of that on it as well at the end. But that Hempel stuff needs priming with something else first. It can't go on raw wood, so so this is what we're doing. Yeah, hopefully that will be uh, just a ticket. We'll have a look. Put a load of this in here then. penny in for a pound. Put a bit of inside as well, just because it's here. Might be thinned enough now, I will put a little test on the hull and see. It's gorgeous. I think I might just knock that down a little bit more with some with some turps and uh, call that good. It looks shiny, I tell you that. Mm -hmm. 